So today, to be totally honest, didn't go the way I thought it was going to go for the Blue Jays. But they come away with the 2-0 victory over the Washington Nationals. At the very least, they win the series. And they beat Max Scherzer? Did anyone picture this? Anybody who says, oh, you know, I predicted this. I said they were going to do it, blah, blah. I, I, look, I, I want to believe you, but I couldn't. Because Scherzer has been having one heck of a year. Marco Estrada has been having an up and down season. We didn't really know what we were going to see. You saw from Max Scherzer what you usually see. Double digit strikeouts. He had 10 in the ball game. And really the Jays didn't get any offense going uh, until the bottom of the fifth inning. When Luke Maley gets on, gets hit by a pitch, by a changeup up and in, hits him. I think it was on like on the forearm or something like that. And uh, and he gets on. Devin Travis, who has been on an absolute tear up until that point, had had the only hit in the ball game. Actually, I think he had the. Th- I think it was the third hit of the ball game. He had the first one uh, of the game. And he gets a hanging slider um, from Max Scherzer, and he drills it into the seats. The Jays have a 2-0 lead. And at this point in time, Marco Estrada is just dealing. Throwing lots of strikes. The changeup's biting. He's mixing his pitches great. And he's doing a great, great job. Marco's end line was beautiful. Six and two-thirds, three hits, struck out four guys, and only walked two. Tip, that's a vintage Marco Estrada outing. His ERA went fi- from 5.09 before the game to 4.66 after the game. Great to see from Marco Estrada. I mean, I... and the Jays win a series. After losing to Tampa, you win a series against the Nats. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm totally confused. But not only was Marco Estrada so good... The bullpen did their job. They came in, and yes, they only threw, what is it, uh, two and a third innings. But they did their job, didn't give up any hits, walked two guys, but if you're not going to give up any hits, it doesn't really matter, and struck out a batter. Or excuse me, walked one guy and struck out two. They've changed the the, the format on here, so it looks differently. Um, Danny Barnes came out to inherit Marco Estrada. The re- uh, some Jays fan, you know, I'm honest to goodness. There's been a lot of talk about Gibby. I like when he pulled Marco. I had a feeling after he got two out, his pitch count was over a hundred. I'm like, Gibby, don't you dare pull him out of the game. But then he gave up the single, and then there's two on and two out. You kind of want to just knuckle down the situation. And who's the guy that they usually go to? It's Danny Barnes. He comes in and gets his guy out. Beautiful. Comes out for the next inning and gets the leadoff guy. And I'm shocked that Gibby pulled him. Um, but he did. And in comes Aaron Loop. And a lot of Jays fans, including myself, are like, oh boy. Oh boy. I think he got a strikeout. No, yeah, he, he, he got an out. I think it was a ground ball somewhere. I think it was. Um, who was it? Solarte got the ground out. And uh, then he walked a batter. And we're like, okay, but it's okay. There's two out and a guy at first base. There's nothing really to panic about. Bryce Harper's up. Okay, now you can panic a little bit. But Aaron Loop gets Bryce Harper striking striking out, looking the backwards K of Bryce Harper from Aaron Loop. Great job to close out the inning. And a lot of, I mean, I was shocked to not see Ryan Tapera come out in the ninth. Instead, we see Tyler Clippard, who has been very good as of late, but he had that really rough spell not too long ago. But he does a great job against his former team. One inning, no hits, no walks, got a strikeout, and gets the save, his third of the year. Blue Jays win 2 nothing. I'm not saying this is a statement game, because it's really not. But we talked about it right out of the gate, guys. This team will live, breathe, and die by the starting pitching. What'd you get from today? You got one clutch hit. That's all you needed. Because your starting pitching was that good. Marco was vintage Marco Estrada. Picks up the victory. The pitch is an unbelievable game. And gets the win. Now, I know people are going to hate me for saying this. But you know what? It's worked for me in the past. 
It has never worked when I don't say it. The Jays go for the sweep tomorrow. 107 first pitch at Rogers Center. Tanner Rorak versus Sam Gavilio. I'll be at that game. Got tickets for my dad for uh, Father's Day. So him and I will be heading down there. If you guys are heading down, let me know. That'll be a lot of fun. And meet up, maybe meet up with one of you guys or, or something like that. I don't know. Uh, up to you guys, though. Um, I will be down there. And uh, looking for the sweep. That'd be, that, this would be something, eh? The Jays sweep the Orioles and everyone's like, oh, you know, the Blue Jays. Psh, they just stay whatever. They sweep the Orioles. Ooh. And then, then they go down and get swept by Tampa. Yeah, that's more like them. Now they have a chance to sweep the Nationals. What are people going to say then? What am I going to say about this team not being a good team? If you sweep the Nats, you're a pretty good team. Now, we know you never know what you're going to see from one day to the next. It's a roller coaster ride with this Blue Jays team. So that's what we know for sure. What are we going to see tomorrow? In game one, the offense was pretty good. The pitching was all right. But it wasn't the greatest, but you got the job done. 6-5 victory. Today, it was a pitching duel, but the Jays got that one clutch hit, and the Nationals did not. Great job by the Jays in both games to win the series at the very least. And like I said, they look for the sweep tomorrow, All right, So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoyed this video. And, man, if you guys enjoyed today's Marco Estrada outing and, of course, the Devin Travis home run, because he has been great. Over the last little while has Devin Travis 2 for 3 against Max Scherzer because uh, he didn't face any of the relievers, I don't think. He was 2 for 3 uh, against Scherzer. That is a very, very good number. Average almost 230 now for Devo. Great to see that. I want to hear what you guys have to, you know, if you guys enjoy the, I don't even know if I said it already. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. What do you guys think of the Jays game today? What would you think of Devin Travis? What would you think of Marco Estrada? Who's your player of the game? Would you give it to Travis for the huge hit? Would you give it to Estrada for the uh, for the brilliant start? Would you give it to the bullpen for being able to shut them down in the ball game? I want to hear what you guys have to say, and I'll talk to you guys later tonight. Podcast edition. Link is in the description for the podcast channel and for the podcast itself on iTunes, guys. Link is also in the description for um, Twitter. Go follow up, send me a DM, do all that great kind of stuff. I love talking to you guys on there, and. Uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I guess it'll be early evening, depending. I have baseball tomorrow night, but if I get home in time, you know, might be able to pound the video for you guys. But uh, hoping, hoping tomorrow late afternoon as the Blue Jays look for the sweep against the Washington Nationals, Tanner Roark versus Sam Gavilio, 107 first pitch at Rogers Center. We'll talk to you guys then.